Hey guys. Hey guys. Hello there. Well, um, happy Father's Day, first off, to all the dads listening in. Happy Father's Day. We hope you're able to enjoy an amazing day with your family. Yes. And we celebrate with you from, from far away. <laughs> far away. <laughs> um, but hey, so we just wanted to shoot you another video, another update video of what's been going on here. Uh, we hope you have liked these videos and been able to really glean from them. And um, I think for us, it's been a great way to connect with each one of you. And so um, something really incredible happened this past week. We actually launched our virtual missions trips as a church. And so um, if, you're, if your church or your small group or you just want to connect with us, in that way as a church um, make sure and email us message us let us know and we'll get you connected um, and then another thing too that has happened i think we mentioned this in our last video but um, our church has been able to serve ninety two thousand people during this quarantine ninety two thousand. that's incredible that's yes. incredible um i think Stalin mentioned that we just last year, we were only able to serve like between fifty to sixty two to sixty thousand people. Yeah, for the whole year of last year. Yeah, and so this year we've been able to serve j just in this quarantine ninety two thousand in different ways, whether that's calling them, checking in on them, um, sending them food, delivering food, um, through through the government, things like that, giving them water. So um, it's just incredible to be a part of that, and we say that and we tell you that because we want you guys to know that you're a huge part of that too yeah um you're a big part of that and so we just thank you so much for your prayers and your support and each week we kind of go back and forth between sharing something that's been in our hearts lately but um as Stalin and I were talking this week just over a meal I actually asked him to share with us um something that we talked about because he shared something with me and I just um, think that it can impact us all and so I know he already shared last week but I really hope that he would do this again this week too yes <laughs> <laughs> hey um, by the way just wanted to remind you that you can see everything that's going on on the live missions uh, website and we're, we're gonna be putting the link somewhere in this video uh, when I learn how to do it but <laughs> I, I will do that for sure um, so you can see everything that Camino de Vida is doing. Yeah. And we just have the privilege to be part of it. And thanks to your support to, that we can do that for those of you who are doing this. And yeah. even watching it for us, that means means the world. Um, and if you don't get our newsletters and want to, uh, we actually are going to be adding videos from our church, videos in English of all the outreaches that our church has been doing and so we add those each week um so make sure and let us know if you want to be part of that because we want to get those to you and uh what we're going to talk about today i want to share with you um it's i don't know if this is a title even but it's a heart checkup if that means anything yeah um good i'm, <laughs> I'm still learning english here so uh, <clears throat> Our, our pastor, I'm going to quote a lot of what uh, my pastor, our pastor, Pastor Robert says. Um, he's been calling this year, along with many other pastors and leaders in the world, they've called him, uh, called it the, the year of the great interruption. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's such an accurate name for <laughs> this year um, because, of course, it's been a great interruption for the whole world. Yeah. Um, not only the church, but the world in itself the whole system and um and we can see this year in many ways right we can see it in a negative way i've heard mm -hmm. of people um that are men and women of god calling it a year of judgment a year of um where god is judging the world and all that um we we choose to see it in a different way um my pastor always says there there are two uh birds that are um, very similar in many ways but very different in the essence the hummingbird and the vulture the hummingbird comes out in the morning searching for life and it gets it and it gets its food out of it yeah. and its nourishment right but then you have the vulture that looks for dead things mm -hmm. and he gets its nurture from it so 
I don't know um, how you would choose to see this year, but I want to see it with a life-giving perspective. And so, um, which means that things are not easy. Not It's not all what you guys call fine and dandy. <laughs> it's it's not like that. And good things, <laughs> good things hurt also because um, what's good makes you grow. And, grow. and so, uh, I've, we've been hearing from many people and we've been experiencing ourselves. Um, if if it's true we do a lot of things through the church but there are other things in our lives that have experienced this pause mm -hmm. this this huge pause and for many people it could be discouraging because you might think well where's my career going my plans mm -hmm. my projects the money that i was supposed to make this year maybe you've lost your job or maybe you are getting paid even less um many things that can be going on in your life that might feel like you're stuck it might feel like a no answer from god even but i believe that god is not concerned with what you and i do he does not care about what we do because what you and i can do somebody else can do because he is god he can get someone else to do it so he is concerned with who we are and as a result, when he gets who we are, when we get this exchange, um, this relationship, when we give who we are to him, then we can do what he wants us to do. Mm -hmm. So you might feel chasing um, your, you know, you, the things that you want to do or who you want to be known for, um, but that's not what God is concerned. This this year, I believe God is concerned who who we are. So um, I just wanted to encourage you with that because, um, you know, one of one thing that my pastor also says, Pastor Robert, is that life is short. Mm -hmm. It's true, but it's also long. We can do a lot of things in this life, mm -hmm. um, but it's about taking it one step at a time. So um, the word Sabbath, the word reflection has come to us a lot this month. Um, we've been doing a 21 day detox, um, brain detox, brain detox. Um, it's been great, a great experience. Uh, we've been reading some things about Sabbath and, uh, yeah. we've been trying to experience it and, and do it before, but it's getting just a different meaning. It's mm -hmm. getting, um, a meaning of being more intentional about it. It's about resting in God and let God be God in our lives and do this this check this heart check God what what's going on in my heart that I need to give to you what are those mm -hmm. issues that I have not brought to you what are those unsolved issues that are not letting me be who you want me to be and so it's good it's a good thing and I wanted to encourage everyone who's watching to do that uh, heart check you know come to the Lord and let God be God and um, that might that might help um, with what you want to do mm -hmm. and um, this is a, a, a last quote that I want to share with you it's by Marva Dom and she says a great benefit of Sabbath keeping is that we learn to let God take care of us not by becoming passive and lazy but in the freedom of giving up our free will attempts to be God in our lives. So tomorrow and from now on, we're, we're starting to do this um, Sabbath intention, intentional day. More intentionally. Um, so we just wanted to share that we're, we're starting to do that and um, we encourage you to do the same, however that looks like, whether it's one day a week, whether it's Monday, whether it's a couple hours a day or a couple minutes a day even. God wants a pause in our lives. Mm -hmm. um, he wants a sell out moment in our lives and he wants to speak to us um, so yeah we love you guys and we hope that this encourages you um, that this draws you closer to the Lord because that's that's what life is about at the end um, it's about who we are before him not what we do yep that's awesome love you guys love you see you next week bye bye bye